Hey everyone, this is Donald the Repentless. Today's video, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story and then ask a question for people who, who are believers in God. Now, the story is, a few years ago, I was trying to start my own church. I was, um, at the time, still technically a member of Community of Christ, but I stopped attending. And, well, actually, I was a member of a church called the um, Church of Christ with Signs and Wonders or something like that. It was several years ago. <clears throat> and I was the, the first elder, not the first elder, second elder in that church. And the, the guy, um, his name was, oh, anyways, who was, who had started the church or actually had got the name from another guy was um, was at the point where he was going to to rejoin a, join a church, a traditional, more you know, LDS church. Um, the I think it was the Temple Lot group. He, he joined eventually. But anyways, I didn't want to take the name that he had, so I tried to start my own church called the Strangite Church of Jesus. Uh, sorry, Strangite Community of Christ which would have um, combined um, teachings from both the Strangite Church and the Community of Christ. Um, I'm going to put a link to the, the blog I was writing at the time in the description, because this, this is right before I became atheist. And I was writing down these revelations. I've been, in fact, I've been writing down various revelations, revelations that I had received over the years. And now, you have to go down a little ways in the blog, but um, I think it's the second or third, maybe it's third or fourth um, blog entry is, is something called Section 10, which would have been Section 10 of, I can't remember which volume Doctrine and Covenants would have been, because I totally reorganized and was trying to do something completely different with the Doctrine and Covenants. But that is an example of one of the revelations I wrote down. Now pay careful attention, if you read it, to the intro to the section. Um, I describe, you know, one day sitting, on, one night sitting on the computer, and then having this urge to write. And I wrote down this revelation, and I sincerely believed that it was a revelation from God. Um, since I become an atheist, I tend to think that was more my own imagination or my own thoughts being reflected back to me. But anyways, that brings me sort of to the question. Well, actually, I'm going to tell a second story. There's a guy um, known as Azrael Andi Amin. In about 1978, he was camping this is his story you can go up put the put a website you know his website where he has his book um and the his youtube channel or his youtube one of his followers youtube channels because from my understand Azrael doesn't actually get online and he doesn't have a <coughs> excuse me an online presence as far as i know but Azrael is an interesting fellow i met him I talked to him for a while, and the sincerity were a measure of truth. This guy would be, or, oh, you know, he would be the most truthful person I've met. But anyways, while he was camping, he claims that God, the father and mother, appeared to him and started teaching him and had him write this book called The Song of God. Like I said, the description, the link will be in the description to the website for The Song of God. Um, but now he's, well, like I said, now, I think that's brings me to the question. Now, when you're dealing especially with m the scriptures of most religions, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, and so forth, you're talking about ancient scriptures. But I'm fairly familiar with a number of Latter-day Saint scriptures, which are more modern scriptures, like the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, 
prorate price, um, second book of commandments, the book of the law of the Lord, the war he plates, um, and the word, the word of the Lord brought to mankind by an angel. And the thing that I'm asking, especially when it comes to like ancient scriptures, how do you know that the authors, well, let's say, how do you know that the revelations contained within your ancient scripture, whatever that might be, is truly inspired by God or not merely the uh, imagination of the person writing it? And we know, at least for the Bible anyways, that most of the books in the Bible are not written by the people claimed to write it. There were later like editors, scribes or whatever that attached the, the, the name of an ancient like prophet or um, a patriarch to the book. But anyways, even granting that the, uh, all the books in the Bible were written by the person who is ascribed to the book, how do you know that that writing wasn't merely the imagination, especially when it comes to like more esoteric stuff? The historical stuff, you know, that's not may not be imagination, but but the actual revelations, where it says that God told them this or that or the other. How do you know for certain that that wasn't the imagination of the person who wrote it or wishful thinking or, you know, like I said, their own thoughts that the, um, that goes back at them? Because I've noticed one thing about all scriptures that I've read. All of them tend to contain a contemporary view or a view within the context of the society itself. Um, like I said, that's pretty much it. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Share on social media. Comment below what your thoughts are if you have an answer to my question. And don't forget to subscribe for more Repentless content. This is Donald the Repentless, signing off.